This local sports report is presented by Kelly Pataki, your hometown realtor and a proud supporter of the Cambridge Redhawks. Kelly is a sales representative with the Remax Real Estate Center who brings trusted advice and experience to your next home purchase or sale. Contact Kelly for all your real estate needs at 519-716-7998. Saturday night, GOJHL action from the Galt Arena Gardens, the place packed for a big game. The Redhawks facing off with the Air Centennials. The Redhawks currently 3-2 over the Sens this season, looking to make it 4. And the Sens looking to even the head-to-head -head late in the season. First period and watch the Sens 4 check. They're flying in the Redhawks zone. Will Lewis skies a shot over the bar, but the Sens keep their pressure up. Jack Weiser picks it up in the corner and sends it back to Lewis for the opener. It's the Sens flying out of the gate in the first, and it's 1-0 air. A few minutes later now, and it's the Redhawks looking to equalize here on a four-check of their own. Ty Anselmini plays it on net. Caden Bauer swings at it out front, and he's got a goal. That's his 15th of the season, and we're tied at one each early in the first. Later in the frame, and it's the Sens on the power play looking to regain their lead. Blair Scott sends it to Logan Kelly, and Kelly shoots. Owen Ireton slams on the rebound. That's Ireton's 16th. A power play marker for the Sens forward, and it's 2-1 air. Head to the second period, now still 2-1 Sens. Isaac Westlake is hooked down on the break, and the Redhawks are sent to the power play. And on that power play, it's a great setup for Tanner Bibby. Bibby's got a wide open net, and he sends it in. It's Tanner Bibby leveling the score at 2-2 with his 32nd of the season. Air back the other way, looking to keep the tempo up, but watch the man between the pipes, the Redhawks, Ben Edwards. He's got a brilliant blocker save, and he keeps it out. Final seconds of the second, the Sens here off an Ozone faceoff. Ryan McKellar sends it on net. Logan Kelly beats the buzzer! He scores with less than a second left in the frame, and Air take back the lead, heading to the third. In the third now, and here comes the physicality. This is Matt Freeze running over Dante Pellegrino on the wall. Pellegrino back on his feet and he lines up Cameron Freeze for an answering check. Then it's the Sens back on the attack and it's a great point shot from Eric Kinnear. He earns a big rebound for Owen Ireton and Ireton sends it to the goal mesh. That's a power play marker for Ireton and his second of the night and it's 4-2 Sens. The Redhawks, no strangers to third period comebacks this season, look to battle back here on a two-on-one. Cameron Freeze is stoned on the rush by Nathaniel Boys, but the Redhawks stay with it. Joseph Mara is out front, and he finishes it off. That goal brings the Redhawks back within one with six minutes to go. The Sens still with gas in the tank immediately back the other way. Here's Mitchell Ferris with some good work on the boards. Owen Ireton picks it up and sends it to Logan Kelly for the goal. That's a quick answer for the Sens, and they're back in front by two. Cambridge looking to rally in front of the home crowd, and it starts with a huge hit from Matt Freeze. The Redhawks find the puck on the forecheck and watch Cameron Freeze in the slot. He floats in and buries it! And just like that, the Redhawks are back within a single goal. Late in the third now, and it's more from the Freeze line. Kent Cummings sends it on net, and Matt Freeze knocks it in! That's the equalizer, late in the third. We're tied up at 5-5, and this one was stay knotted all the way to the shootout. In the first round of the shootout, and here's Logan Kelly for the Sens. He floats in and goes backhand forehand, and it's a beauty from Kelly! And with the Red Hawks miss, the Sens lead 1-0. Then it's Tanner Bibby for the Red Hawks. He floats in and rips a low shot on net, and it's money for Bibby! So it's 1-1. Second half of the second round, and here's Blake Kersey for the Sens. He walks the goalie back into his net and roofs it! That makes it 2-1 Sens, and that gives Nathaniel Boys a chance to end it. Third round of the shootout, here's Caden Bauer for the Red Hawks. He needs to score. He looks five hole, but Nathaniel Boyds gets the paddle down, and the Air Centennials win. They take a thriller over the Cambridge Red Hawks in the shootout. This one ending with a final score of six to five on Saturday night.